everybody, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for another devotional. Today we are in John chapter 1. I'm going to read verses 43 down through 51. A great part of this story, by the way. Here it goes. It reads, the next day, so this is the third day in those sequential days. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, follow me. So he continues to call disciples. Now, Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. So the other two he's already called. Philip went and found Nathanael and said to him, we have found him of whom Moses in the law and the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. So they believe they have found the Messiah. Nathanael said to him, can anything good come out of Nazareth? And Philip said to him, well, come and see. And Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him. So he's approaching Jesus and said of him, behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no deceit. And Nathanael said of him, well, how do you know me? And Jesus answered him, before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. In other words, he saw something out in the future, even before Philip responded to him. And Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, You are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. So he recognizes that he has this divine ability that is quite unnatural. And Jesus answered him and said to him, you believe because I said to you, I saw you under a fig tree. (laughs) You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, truly, truly, I say to you, you will see the heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Now guys, what's happening in this text is so simple and so underutilized by so many believers. It's an invitation to connect a person's real life search for meaning and purpose to the one who actually provides the meaning and the purpose, and that of course is Jesus Christ. Now, some people have kind of traditionally called this the invitational approach to evangelism, and There is an invitation in it, but I'm not too sure that title is quite right. Because to be able to offer an invitation, we have to have a keen awareness on one hand of what a person is searching for and a keen understanding on the other of how Jesus is going to resolve that search. This means that we have to be spiritually alert to a person's needs and know how Jesus resolves their needs. So there is an invitation in it, but it's It's more like we're helping people make that kind of spiritual connection to Jesus. And chapter one is full of people helping other people to make connections to Jesus. I mean, John the Apostle, who's writing the book, is making these logical connections to Jesus. JB, John the Baptist, is making prophetic connections to Jesus, direct ones. Andrew and Philip are making relational connections for Peter and Nathaniel to Jesus. And even Jesus is making a supernatural and insightful connection for Nathaniel about who he is and what he's searching for and what he was going to see. So guys, do me a favor today. Turn up that spiritual awareness of yours. Help someone make a spiritual connection. When you see or hear their point of need, just point them to Jesus because he has all the answers they're looking for. I love you guys. I pray this has blessed you. Turn it up today. And I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.